Since 1.16, Netherite has taken over as one of the most valuable ores in Minecraft. But that does not mean that diamonds are not important. They're still very valuable, useful, and still hard to mine. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to mine diamonds faster. But before we do that, if you like this video, click the thumbs up and subscribe. Now let's get into it. So the first step is to simply know how to mine it. An iron pickaxe is really just all what you need. Next, you need to activate your coordinates so you can start finding diamonds. You can start finding diamonds at Y16, but to have a greater chance of finding them, Minecraft suggests to search them at Y11 or Y12. And just in case if you don't know what the Y means or where to find them, they're technically the middle coordinates, so the one in the middle, the number in the middle, that's really your Y or where, that's your elevation in other words. Sorry for the noise in the background, but now let's start with first way number one, which is branch mining. Branch mining is simply a mining system that can help you find diamonds, but can also help you find other stuff. To do this, make a 3x3 main hallway straight, and then make what are called smaller branches that are 2x2 by blocks connecting from the main hallway. Way to find diamonds number two. This is strip mining. Strip mining is a more, let's say, sophisticated way of finding diamonds. It's a more broad way, not sophisticated. I don't know what I'm saying. But uh, yeah, to make this, you just need an open area for you to mine or just make an open area. I recommend using one block of TNT that can be used to open up the space and start mining it is an easier way to find diamonds since you block literally just every single block that is in your way now let me give you a tip and that tip is to make a base a base in your mind can help you not by going to the surface and it's just gonna limit you going from one way to another which I know it's a lot of stress or you know a lot of things you have to do and to do this you can just keep a chest for food a chest with pickaxes a furnace a bed and a crafting table all of that in a base I think it's really just good enough to hold on to Now, last one, way to find diamonds number three, and that is going exploring. This is probably the easiest way for you to do it because you're not mining a lot of things, but really it just means going to a deep cave or going to an open deep area and just start searching for diamonds, just blocks and few blocks and all of that. I think you have greater chances of finding diamonds if you search in places like ravines or deep abandoned mines which is where diamonds can usually be found more at an open space now let's go with this and very important tip that can be useful to technically all of the people who go deep cave mining and this is to not fall for the lava trap a lot of people think that finding a lava pool is going to guarantee them finding diamonds. This is a myth. A lava pool is not going to guarantee you to find diamonds. A lava pool instead is an open space, which means it's going to be easier for you to search for diamonds since the lava gives you the light and the rocks give you, let's say, you know, you just mine. But it's not going to guarantee you that you're going to find diamonds. So do not fall for this myth. So that is it. I hope you find it something useful in this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you found again all this information useful which I have no idea why I wrote that. But if you want to know how to find netherite next, then make sure you click this video right here and we'll see you over there. Goodbye.